but we are still seeing some breezy weather pick up each afternoon, about 15 to 20 mile per hour winds in some of those spots. So between the heat, a little bit of wind, uh, and then also the chance of thunderstorms, we have quite a few factors out there. And even though we're seeing some shower activity with some of this monsoonal weather, it doesn't completely rule out the potential for dry lightning to get it on the outer edges of any storm. So this is what we're looking at live. We got Doppler 7000 HD. We really saw it active yesterday, and it just started firing up over some of those eastern areas where we pulled off a enough a thunderstorm activity where we had a flash flood warning go in place for some areas of San Bernardino County. Get your heavy duty 100% cotton Balco PCT shirt like these guys. Just send your HD video and if you use it on our channel, you get a free shirt. Uh, where we saw about an inch and a half to two and a half inches of rain in such a short amount of time. So now we are seeing some showers pop up over Big Bear. Most of it's pretty light. There's a few isolated areas though where it is a bit heavier. And so the chance will remain through today. And in fact, a little stronger compared to yesterday too. Any storms that we do see are going to be moving pretty slowly as well. And that does increase the risk of flash flooding. Uh, so if we see any today, they'll probably be moving a little slower than about 20 miles per hour. So these have the potential to sit and dump a lot of rain at one time. See some of that activity pick up. Even the coastline, pretty warm, 83 degrees in Long Beach. We have 75 over into Santa Monica right now. So we're seeing this pick up because we have this high pressure that's over Nevada. It's centered over Nevada, and it's helping push some of that easterly uh, rotation in when we have that rotation under high, uh, over high pressure. It moves clockwise, and so it's just perfect to kind of be moving right into SoCal here. So that's why we're seeing some of that activity make its way here for us. As we head into this afternoon, we continue to see it into later this afternoon. Cooler temperatures by the week, and we might even get below average, down to 79 degrees on your Sunday. So we'll finally start to see some to you. Very hot still for the high desert, 110 degrees today, tomorrow, 10% shot of a thunderstorm. Finally, we get down to about 100 degrees as we head in for the Antelope Valley, and then we'll get to those lower triple digits as we get into this weekend. We might even get down to normal on Monday, 99 degrees, Philip. So welcome change mm. just a few days away. Okay, thanks, Brianna. Days for others. We might see the deserts continue on with maybe an advisory even into Friday, but we finally have some cooling that's going to be in the forecast by the weekend. So a couple more days of this, but it is hot out there already. 100 degrees.